Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm trying to help someone that sent me a message on Facebook, and the best I can understand is what they want. They've got a gray shadow that's going to fit inside here, but they don't want the gray to be this thick. Well, it's not a, and they're trying to vector it. And I'm going to take it off this page just so the page won't be in our way. I'm going to figure out how big our drawing is, and it is. 3.2 inches tall, so I'm going to make my nudge factor on 5. Um, duplicate distance, I'm not going to change, but uh, I like mine set on 0, 0. But anyway, just take this, and it's a it's a bitmap, but it's not really a, it's not traced, and you can't vectorize it, so you got to go to bitmap, and you can resample it, and it's at 300, so it's good. Go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, Grayscale is what I'm going to try and press OK. Then I'm going to go to Trace Bitmap, Outline Trace Clip Art. Clip Art works the best for me. Just hit Reduce Bitmap. It'll just take a second. I've got, uh, you know, remove background color and everything set. So now I've got a good copy of it. It's a vector now. It's a group of two objects. Uh, we can, let's move this one just out of the way. And you can kind of tell when you move something like this, you can see the, the individual letters. When you move this, you see a box. It is because I would bet that it has a box around it. And it doesn't, but it's got some white background. Anyway, so here we go. We've got this, and we're going to... Go up and ungroup it together, and we're going to take each one of these pieces, and we're going to go up here, and we didn't really have to ungroup it, but we're going to put no fill. I'm going to left click and right click on hairline. Now we need to fill in all the grayscale, and that way it'll get rid of the white. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit more, and I'm going to take my smart fill tool, and I'm going to fill in all the shaded areas. And then I'm going to cursor down, fill in all the, the areas that we want shaded, and cursor down. And what we're doing, we're just getting the exact same thing. I think this is what she's in, trying to do. And I think I have them all. So then you could left click right click and then let's just take this I, I believe she didn't want it quite that thick is the question so i'm going to take this one right here and i'm going to contour it i'm going to go to effects contour i'm going to contour 0 0.05 to the inside and it made it that much thinner now you're going to have to do that on each individual one break contour apart and then you can move that one down. And then that way they'll all be together. And you would just do that for each letter, each part of it. Now, some of this smaller part's going to disappear. Break contour apart, which is Control K. And we didn't break it apart. So I'm going to go Control K, grab the inside, and move it down. And you, since you've got this set, uh, you don't have to set it again. Control K. Click off of it. Click on the inside. And you can play around with this. You can make it, you know, any thickness you want. But this is making this gray offset or shadow that much thinner. Let's do one more. Control K. And once you do that to all the letters, you've pretty much done it. Now, just in keep, you know, keep in mind, when you pull this out of there, if you would use your nudge distance, you could put it right back. And then, if you want it filled in gray, whoop, didn't mean to do that. Just hit the escape button and get rid of that.
Come on. I don't ever use Paragraph Tool, but there you go. Uh, let's zoom in here a little bit. And then you would just fill that in with whatever color you wanted. And there's you a thinner offset. Now keep in mind, and I don't know about vinyl cutter, but um, you would want to right click no outline. So now you just have a gray item. I hope that helped. If it did not, young lady, let me know. And thank you for watching.